Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to do a little bit of planning, but we're also going to talk a little bit about how I incorporate Fly Lady into my digital planner. And I absolutely love this planner. And if you have not seen me talk about this planner, I will put links down below for the other videos that are really deep dived on where I got it and how I use it. But today we're going to just zoom in and we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab some things that I need for cleaning. So with Fly Lady, we do a weekly, uh, meal plan. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my sticker or organizer that I've got set up. I use this as like a breakup from any colors that I might add. So I've just resized it to fit in there. All right. So what I've done so far is I've added in my weekly tasks that I put in every weekly layout. I like to have a menu and my daily to do. Now you guys that are fly lady, you're going to love this because in this daily to do, we can customize this. And so, you know, if you have specific things like your morning routines and your afternoon routines this is where I like to plug that in and then I can track if I'm getting this done every day also this men menu plan love this because it's got breakfast lunch and dinner in there it's not just dinner so I like that so that it helps me when I do uh, my plan and play day to really sit down and plan out what do I need for groceries and things like that so I like to have this so now we're just gonna make it beautiful and functional because that's the key to a really good planner to include that somewhere over here so we're just gonna put the zone list so I know exactly what area I'm going to be cleaning in for this week. So yeah, I've got some appointments and things. So I'm going to get my lasso tool again. I'm going to select both the words and the color. Copy. And I'll go back over here. We've got Justin traveling this week. That's the hubs. For one that talks about flying. Yep, there we go. Right here. I've got two. I've got out and in. So we're going to lasso both of those because he's got a trip for work. So we're going to include that. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop these off. So he is flying out. So I can just hold. So I picked up both of those by lassoing a bigger loop. Now I'm going to separate them. So I'm just going to hold. And once it comes to here, I can hit edit. That gives me that box and I can drag just that one and I can resize it and put it wherever. So yeah, we can do this uh, St. Patrick's Day. So that, we're gonna put that on there. And that is, what day is that on? That's on Thursday as well. So we'll put that there. It seems like all of my words are always like on the same day. So we'll have to get creative so it doesn't look so heavy there. One of the kids is on spring break. So I'm gonna just put a box in. I think this payday is gonna be the green that I want. So the way that I'm gonna do it is I take my little lasso tool. I'm just gonna draw a little square. I'm gonna tap it and take a screenshot. There's the green, I'm gonna export it and I'm gonna save it as an image. So now when I come over here and I go into my pictures, there's my little color and it's a perfect match. So I can resize this because she's on spring break. I am going to put, I'm gonna add a text box. There we go. Now I can just drag and drop it right there. Now let's go in and let's make this cuter. So I've got that little piece of green there. I think what I wanna do is let's use that green in another place. So I'm just gonna possibly, let's move March out of the way. So I'm gonna edit and just drag that up there. Let's add some of this pretty green. It is St. Patrick's week. So we wanna make sure we're using our greens. I don't use it a lot, but this is the week to do it. So I have done in the past, kind of like a color box. And let me show you because it was really cute. So it was in February and I kind of put like what my intentions were for the month and I really loved how that worked out. So I'm thinking that that's something that I may end up doing again. So um, that's what I'm referencing. And you can see in the past, I've done the same thing with my month and my, my menu planning and my daily planning. I don't like a lot of bright colors, but I know many of you do and that's fine. So, you know, make sure that you're doing it the way that you like it. Um, I can see right now that I'm not loving this black and green so much. So I may flip them and that's something that you could do. So I may end up lassoing it and I'm going to cut it so that this is going to be my base layer. The thing you wanted to be on top, maybe you put on the page first and it disappeared. So that means it probably just sunk to the bottom. I'm trying to get this where I've got just about the same amount of white. There we go. I'm kind of particular on things. I can just hit paste and it's already the same size as what I had. Now I can just resize it and kind of 
do something like that and it was much easier than starting and getting the square just right. So yeah, I like that a little bit better. Give it a little bit more green on that, so that's good. Since it was on the page first, if I bring this and let go of it, it disappeared. So I have to undo that. I'm gonna lasso it, I'm gonna cut it. Now I'm gonna paste it. And now that I've pasted it, it's new on the page, so it can go right there, and that makes it stay right where I want it to be, and I can see it, and it's cute. Go to pictures, there's my, there's my pink, and it's a softer, prettier pink, so I'm just gonna resize it. It's, it's very hard to be perfect, so don't try to be perfect. And you fly ladies, you know, progress over perfection. Like, we don't want to get wrapped up and spend in spending hours trying to make this box perfect because it's not going to be perfect. And that's probably good enough. I'm not going to sit here. In fact, it's a little bit off and it's driving me crazy. So I'm just going to make it off on purpose and now it looks like I did it intentional and it's, it's a little bit better, at least in my mind. You may not have been bothered by that, but for me, that was very distracting. All right, so we've got our bones here now. This is where I add in my daily focus for um, Fly Lady. And so each day has like a specific plan. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do daily focus. better and then I can drag it and put it right there and there we go so weekly home blessing is going to be that day I could do that for every single day in a line I don't like things to be in a line so what I usually do is I'll kind of just put different um, like post-its or stickers or what have you so if I go here you could get lost in resizing I'm telling y'all don't be perfectionistic like me because you'll get nothing done Oh my goodness. So here you have it. This is the final layout after the pin. I've got all of my details filled in. So all I have to do is as I go through the week, just kind of update it throughout the week. Again, on Tuesday is when I set up my meal plan. So I will do that on Tuesday and follow it along. But there you go. So I always include that zone for the cleaning. So it just kind of reminds me where I'm gonna be working on. A couple of inspirations that I need to remember my daily plan, my weekly home blessing, and all of the, whoop, let me undo that. Uh, all the daily focuses are laid out so I can clearly know what I'm working on for that day. Then I've also got my daily to do so I can mark those off. And then this is like my inspiration for the week so that I can just keep going with the plans that I want to get done every single week. So in my index, I can set up these tabs for anything. And so you can see, I've already got several of them set up and I've got several that I could use for anything that I want. And I've got my master cleaning list and this is my daily focuses. And I've kind of broken them up into each of the daily focuses. What are some things that I want to do during that specific time? But I do like having um, the seasonal reminders in one place because I've, I'll be honest, if I don't write it down, it's never gonna happen really. So I do like this and that way I can refer back to this anytime. And I just have that in my index. For zone cleaning, I've got cleaning my room and then I've got this. And then this is also my uh, morning routines and evening routines. I have that saved so that I can just copy and paste those in and I don't have to rewrite these every time. I also have a master shopping list. And so here's my master list of things that I usually get every single week or every couple of weeks. So these are like our favorite things. 
and that way when I'm making my list I can just go through and check off as I read my recipes and then when I make the master grocery list it is all set right here easy to do I also have um, foodies so this is just like my favorite ideas and menus so here's some of our family favorites and then the last thing that I have that's really just um, part of my control journal is emergency contact information something happens my phone goes dead it gets in water whatever it would be if I'm out and about and I needed to get a hold of someone these days we don't know anybody's phone number so this is a great way to have those numbers with you no matter what now on the friends and family I included date of birth and also addresses so that I always have that with me I take my planner everywhere so I love using this instead of having a binder because I'm not gonna pick up the binder and take it with me every day but I clearly take this in my purse every single day everywhere I go you can count on that I have this so I think having a digital control journal is so much better in this day and age so I hope that you will get started with this I would love to see how you're using your digital planner as a control journal and leave suggestions or tips down in the comments because we can all grow from this anyways hope that helps so there you go my week at a glance I will go in and do the daily plans the day before so that I just take this and then I just turn it into a daily and I include some space for journaling so that's how I use my weekly my daily and also incorporate my fly lady control journal into my digital planner <music>